and welcome to Our Town at Comma Coffee. I'm Kirk Carraway. This morning we're going to be talking with Juan Guzman, who is Carson City's Open Space Manager, talking about some of the open space projects they're doing around the city. Right now we're going to take a short break for a word from our sponsor. Care. It's a word we hear every day. But what does it really mean? It means loving what you do. Care is respect, dignity, kindness, and joy. It means being passionate about what you do. Care is what we do every day. It means everything to my patients. I am health care that does care. I am Carson Tahoe. And we're back. We're talking with Juan Guzman. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing really good. Thank you so much for inviting me to your show. All right. Well, I mean, I've, I've been wanting to talk to you for a while because, I mean, the open space projects that you do are, are some of the things I enjoy the most about Carson City. You know, I use them all the time going out and walk my dogs and just hiking around. When I take my family here, we go out to a lot of these things that you've been directly involved in for a number of years. And so I wanted to talk about some of the things you've got coming up because there's some big things that have just happened and or are happening. And so... Yeah, quite a few things. Yeah. Right. So what's what's the next... You have a... They just had a gift of like 39 acres that we just right. talked about on last week's uh, uh -huh. board of supervisors meeting. And that kind of connected two pieces of property, didn't it? Right. What it does, uh, it's a... It was a donation of land by the Bidler Water Company. Mm -hmm. to, to just the fact that it's the donation by itself is, is extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, and then yeah. the, the, the fact that strategically this piece connects two sections of lands mm -hmm. that, that we own that are not together because we're missing this piece is even better. Mm -hmm. So the Bidler Water Company is at the property, the property that they just donated, mm -hmm. is located at, right at the end of Hells Bells Road, okay. uh, and it connects to the north, the Empire Golf, Empire, um, not Golf, I'm sorry, the Empire Trail, okay. and the, to the south, Riverview uh, Park. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, and then Riverview is connected to Anderson and Gerard. And then to the south of that is Silver Saddle Ranch. Right. So when you think about this in, in big terms, we're talking about more than 3,000 acres that are connected right. by this bridge of land. Wow, that's great. And that area, I mean, you know, if anybody hasn't been out to this area, you've got to go. Because, I mean, I got Silver Saddle Ranch, and then there's the, 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 the bike trail that goes all the way under the freeway, all the way out. And you can go all the way to Silver Saddle Ranch to that, some of those properties. And it's just an amazing that, that's yeah. true. You, yeah. you connect from the center of town through that um, bikeway uh, all the way into um, what is called Moffett of space and then right. from there Mexican uh, Trail. Yeah. It, it's so. just really, really cool. And then next to the river, there's trail too. There's no contiguous at this point, but right. we're making, it, ma we're we're working make on making it continue Because I know yeah. there's other trails that I haven't even been on that, that connect some of those places back in the Riverview Park area right. from that, and I haven't even been, been down that, but I mean, it's, it's, I know that you just bought this other, before this Vidler donation, there was another piece of open space property you bought in that ranch. Um, in it's that called Gerard, yeah. Gerard Ranch, uh -huh. you know, and so that's going to open up even more. More well. land, yeah. yeah. So. And, and exactly, and we'll take advantage of the roads existing on the on the farm to be able to do trails yeah. and that one will continue uh, a cattle operation so mm -hmm. for a while there's going to be um, the, the use of the property is going to be by the public it's yeah. going to be limited to the ages of the property right there is an ugly house in that well there is a, a structure <laughs> and a portion of the structure is not historic is yeah. is modern right. and we get to um, uh, destroy that okay. and then there's a portion that is historic and we need to um, say for we need to work through the historic architecture committee okay all right we're going to take a short break right now and come right back after a word from our sponsor great never before have two words said so much i am is what motivates us every day i am grateful i am is what drives us to treat each patient like family i am blessed and I am is what you can depend on when you need it most. I am a survivor. I heal. I care. I am Carson Tahoe. And we're back talking with Juan Guzman. Uh, now there's a, a piece of property called the Sherpa property. I know uh -huh. that you're working on something with that. Right. It, 
that's to the north. And if you uh, help me out for a minute, uh, we're, go we're going to uh, um, uh, actually, let's not, it's too difficult to do. Um, but uh, if you think of the Carson River, mm -hmm. uh, it goes through Carson City mostly in north south fashion. Right. Then all of a sudden it turns uh, due east mm -hmm. uh, into the, the Carson Sink. Yeah. And when it turns, is um, the main road in that area is Deer Run Road, right. and the Deer Run Road Bridge, mm -hmm. and it's a canyon formation. Yeah. There are two main property owners in that area. One is Serpa, mm -hmm. and the other one is Bentley. Okay. Um, both of them have owned near 500 acres of land each one, mm -hmm. so it's about 1,000 acres mm -hmm. altogether. Well, good news is that we have uh, received uh, uh, we made an offer to Mr. Bentley with the VNT Commission okay. uh, way back, and Mr. Bentley accepted our offer. So we're proceeding to purchase okay. that land. We're waiting on grants and execution of um, grants paperwork to be able to use uh, those monies to help us with that acquisition. Um, more closer to um, um, Deer Run Road is the Serpa property, and we have been uh, D discussing with the uh, agents of Mr. Sherpa for about four months now, very intensively, a transaction. Mm -hmm. We have agreed that if the VNT puts money towards the transaction, a grant that we have with a, a state Q1 program and our monies, we can raise uh, pretty close to what he believes the, the, the offer ought to be, okay. which is in the vicinity of a million dollars. Okay. Um, now, um, before we buy land, we need to uh, appraise it and it needs to appraise at that value. Yeah. Uh, so we're going through that process. If it doesn't appraise at that value, then the board of supervisors have, I'm going to call them extraordinary findings to make and decide if they want to make the offer or not. Yeah. Uh, but normal policy will be to, to make the offer if it appraises at that price. Okay. My note, so this is, you know, this is the land that's going to be needed to get the VNT railroad through Carson Canyon. Right, right the right, VNT Carson will. River Canyon. The Carson, the the VNT Commission will proceed to buy the ra the right away they need for that, right. and then open space will buy the remainder lands. Yeah. That's the plan, and then it's valuable for us because because of the open space value. There is over 70 acres of right party and corridor. There's uh, this incredibly nice foam beaches. Yeah. We have a trail that consists of the use of the water on the river itself. Uh -huh. So we want you to be able to get out of the trail and, and be on dry land without being trespassing. Right, so right. we need to acquire the land. Okay. Now, I mean, you know, open space is one of those things that's, you know, the value of it in terms of people living here. I mean, you know, they think, okay, you're spending this money to buy this land, but I mean, to preserve these kind of things for the future, Right. Uh, you, you know, at the beginning of the program, which is a sales tax, right. um, question, the, the main question was, why shall we buy open space if we're surrounded by Forest Service lands and BLM land? And the answer is because there are key pieces, strategic pieces of land mm -hmm. that the feds do not own, they do not intend to buy them, and if we don't do it, nobody else will. Right. And those are very important in order to continue access mm -hmm. and in order to save our flood plains, yeah. particularly on the Carson River. Yeah. We're the only jurisdiction uh, that have so much public land around the river. Yeah, well, I, I mean, having been able to get the BNT through the canyon, and then having that the canyon there where it's uh, you know the white water stuff going on, it's and, amazing, and, and have really great stuff. Well, I want to thank you for coming on and talking to us, and I know we're going to talk about some more of the things you're doing <laughs> here later in another episode. And I want to thank you for tuning in to our town at Comic Coffee. We will catch you next time. It's my pleasure. Care. It's a word we hear every day. But what does it really mean? It means loving what you do. Care is respect, dignity, kindness, and joy. It means being passionate about what you do. Care is what we do every day. It means everything to my patients. I am healthcare that does care. I am.